Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to SQL Server default instance and SQL Server named instances. Now, first of all, what is a default instance? So, let's say you are start installation and you do not provide any name to that SQL Server instance and you clicked on default instance. That's what it is going to take your machine name as a default instance and install SQL Server. Now, in the named instance, you provide some name for that SQL Server instance. If you start work from, working for a company and uh, uh, you are working as a developer or a DBA, uh, the very first thing you will be getting, you will be getting the list of the SQL Server instances uh, from your uh, manager or maybe the senior DBA or the developers uh, wherever you need to connect. So don't worry about that. You always ask them, hey, I'm a new DBA, I'm a new developer. Uh, can you give me the list of all the development, QA, UAT and production SQL Server instances? So I can take a look. Now, once you have the list, then you can further work on how to connect them and uh, take a look on the different databases and uh, whatever the objects you need to take care from there. Now, in this machine, uh, I have installed four SQL Server instances. First of all, how you would know that how many SQL Server instances are installed on your machine. So you can go ahead and go to the search and type SQL Server Configuration Manager. So once you open that, from there you can tell how many SQL Server instances are installed on that machine. Now from here, you can take a look. I have SQL Server. That's the named instance. It is called SQL 2014. Another one, SQL Server, SQL 2016. Another one, SQL 2016 3P2. And one of the other I have right here. So let's find out that one. That's local instance or default instance it does not have a name such as we have provided name here it took it ms sql server so now we know that we have four sql server instances three of them are named and one is a default instance now open your ssms and we need to connect to these now if you are uh, connecting uh, maybe you, they have given you see uh, some uh, machine names uh, so some uh, computer ip address or the uh, machine name you can remote to that machine and open your ssms there if you, they have given you okay this is your laptop you're going to work on this one you open your laptop as long as uh, you have uh, uh, your uh, username and uh, account is created with the uh, uh, active directory and uh, you have permission you should be able to connect uh, by using uh, the named instance uh, uh, from there the default instance that's going to be on your local laptop or if you are connected to a remote server and some SQL server is installed on that machine so in our case we have both scenarios here we have a, a default instance that's installed on my machine and also I have named instances so I'm going to show you both of them so first go to connect and take a look here right here I can uh, connect to the local instance or a default instance by using multiple ways I can type local in the parenthesis that's going to connect me to the default instance now uh, let's go ahead and open a new query and we are going to run a select query and take a look here if I will type select at the rate at the rate server name this is going to give me the name so I, I run it so I see that this is the same name of my machine, Amir PC. Okay, so I can copy this one. So we use the parenthesis local to connect to the default instance. Let's disconnect this one and let's try with the name now. We are going to use the machine name to connect to the default instance. And we are able to connect successfully again. So that's great. Disconnect again. Let's do the different way. So to connect to default instance, if it is installed on your, that machine, you can use the dot or period. Once you type that and connect, it will connect to the same SQL Server default instance. Let's disconnect one more time and connect. We can use loopback IP that's 127.0.0.1. That will also connect you to the default instance on that machine if it is installed. So let's do that. So if we run the query again, this is the same server. We have a select at the rate at the rate server name. 
this is Amir PC or our default instance. So you see, we are all good. We know that there are four ways we can type local, we can use the dot, we can use machine name, or we can use the loopback IP that's 127.0.0.1 to connect to the default instance of SQL Server on that machine. Now let's go ahead and connect to the named instances. Let's disconnect this part. And now we go to the database engine. And one thing, you can connect to as many or as uh, SQL Server instances you like in SSM at the same time. So uh, most of the case, maybe five or 10, that's the limit. You will not be connecting with hundreds or 200 at the same time. Wherever you need to work, you will connect, you will disconnect. So in my case, uh, now we are gonna go to the Amir PC and the backslash SQL 2016. So first part is your machine name. And second part is uh, your named SQL Server instance. So click here and you will see it is connected. Now remember we have opened here, this is SQL Server named instances. So in the parentheses you see SQL Server 2016, we have SQL Server 2014 as well, which can connect with that. And now we will go back here, database engine, and this is our machine name, we have to provide that. And now we will use 14. Connect that with that one. And the uh, same way, I have another instance, uh, that's uh, SQL 2016 3P2. So one thing I want to tell you guys here, as uh, you can see, I'm, I have installed different versions of SQL Server instances on my machine. So I'm using the one SSMS. Uh, if you have a latest SMS, SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio, you should be able to connect to the uh, old SQL Server versions as well. Let's say if you have installed the SQL Server 2008, 2000, uh, 2012, 2014, and you are using a SQL Server Management Studio, that's uh, 2016, uh, you should be able to connect. Uh, you can see the versions and everything from here, they're different. Uh, and I'm connected to all these SQL Server instances uh, by using the same SSMS. Uh, so I hope uh, this video will help uh, and uh, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.